Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. It is a Tuesday. Um, Monday's video is already out. Please check it out. Um, it has in there some of my meal prep, what I did over the weekend. So, and I did a taste test. And I'm thinking I might do another taste test. We'll see how the day goes. We'll, we'll see. But I do have my first meal ready and I've already been to the gym. I've already been working. It is now almost eight o'clock. So I'm a little bit behind with things, but I've been trying to work and get stuff done. So my breakfast is the usual. I have my protein coffee, um, my bagel, and for you guys that wonder what bagel I do, the better bagel. No, it is not cheap, but it is very high quality and very high protein and high in um, fiber. So just if you wanted to take a look, but these are really, really good and to me worth the investment. Um, I've already had some chicken marinating and I'm going to take it out to get room temperature so I can cook it. Here's the marinated chicken. It's chicken breast. Um, it's not going to be anything fancy. More than likely, what you will see is a finished product. So, um, let me get going. The, today is not as hairy as it was yesterday. Yesterday was just, for the lack of a better word, a shh, shh. Okay, so, let me get going and I'll check in later. Oh yeah, and the sun is out. You peep that? The sun is out. It is the October. Happy October. The sun is out. I... This is a little unusual for, oh, you hear the timer going off that has my bacon in it. Um, but this is unusual to have this kind of weather. Um, it's chilly, but it's not as cold as it could be, but it's gonna be getting there. Um, thank you gods for easing into our 10 and a half months of total fucking hell. So, Yay for that. But let me go turn off this oven, check on the bacon. Um, if it's ready, I'll, I'll eat maybe one or two pieces along with my breakfast. Um, and that's about it. So I'm cutting out of here to get back to work. Okay, everyone, here's the chicken. So when I come back, we are gonna talk about my second meal for the day. Okay, here we are with our second meal. So this is gonna be a little bit weird. We have our vegetable mix, which we know is the Q and blend. And over here for our meat part of it, and again, the vegetable mix is two bags of cauliflower rice. One of the cauliflower rice mixes is a Cuban blend I get at Sprouts. Um, there's some riced broccoli in here. And also, I'm trying to remember, the rice, I love to say the rice blend that I use it with this one is the, um, red beans and rice. Um, I think at one store I found almost like, almost kind of a Cuban blend of just rice. I can't remember what brand it was, if it was Uncle Ben's or somebody else, but that's what we're working with. So yes, let's get started getting on our plates. So here's this mixture right here. And I know, weird, 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 but it's okay. And we're gonna get some meat here. Let's see. This would be a really good, oops, it broke apart. Oh dear, one second. Let me get it. Okay. And this right here will be my second meal of the day. And I could I could go ahead and um we can talk about the next meal because it's gonna kind of be similar to yesterday, almost. So let me get this put away and then I'll pull out what I'm going to be um, having next. Okay. 
So you know how I am kind of loving this yogurt. So I've already prepped it a little bit here. So again, in here I have some yogurt. Um, I had a little bit left of my protein shake, the vanilla. I added that in here. Um, let me go show you guys. Let me pull this out. I should have had this already together, but I wasn't planning on showing this right now, but here we are. So, with the yogurt. In here you see, I have some also, did I talk about this already? The, um, it's not hemp hearts, it's the chia seeds. So I added, and it turns out really good, a little bit of this. See, I've been adding a little bit at a time and it gives a wonderful flavor. It doesn't gel it up, it, um, it congeals it a little bit, but not a lot. But the flavor is amazing. I love this black cherry. So, give it a try. And again, this is the Faye. This is a lactose free. And I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to end the day with this. And I may actually add in some hemp parts to it just to give it a little bit more bold. So, but for right now, this is what we're working with. And if something changes, of course, I am going to check in and let you guys know. Okay, I am back. Yes, I said I was showing everything earlier, but we're gonna do another taste test. You're probably like, what in the world? Two taste tests, back to back, yes. Um, for reference for this taste test, I watch a lot of different YouTubes and I watched someone, her name is Quirky Love Rose. And she was showing something that is called a pink pineapple. It intrigued me. And she was talking about it because she says she loves pineapple, but the regular pineapple irritates her mouth. And I have that same problem. Um, a fresh pineapple will just tear my mouth up. I'll start getting bumps and like, uh, how do I describe it where it's not gross? Like little ulcers um, because of this acid. It's very acidic. So, um, if I wanted to eat a fresh pineapple, I would have to take a Benadryl before I eat it. So when she was saying that and I thought, oh, okay, well, I love pineapple and um, why not try it? And then while she was still talking about it, I kind of went online and went into my Instacart. And you know how on Instacart, you don't have to pick a store. You can just type in the item and it brings up well, all the stores that could carry it. And I'm, cause I wanted to kind of get a price range or, or even if it was here, that in my state, if I could get it, because the woman that was eating it, Quirky Loves Rose, she's in Florida. So I was found it and it was anywhere ranging from eight to $10. And I'm like, God, one pineapple that expensive. Um, but yeah, here we are, we have one. Um, I don't really have a price reference. I think it may have been seven or $8. I'm gonna go with the higher end of eight because they're not cheap. So, they, the pink pineapple, here it is. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna pause you guys and I'm going to cut it and we're gonna do a taste test of it. So let me be right back and I will cut, have this cut. Okay, it's cut and this is what it looks like. It is actually nice and pink. See, little pink pieces. All right, so moment of truth, here we go. Mm. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. It's sweeter, doesn't have that tangy bite, really good. really good I, I like it so yes I'm giving this a thumbs up if you are able to find the pink pineapple I would say it is worth it um, but I would not pay over $10 for it but it's very good 
It's not as acidic and it doesn't have that, make that weirdness in your mouth because of the acid. So yeah, thumbs up and I'm gonna eat this. And you know what? Actually, this is probably how I'm gonna close out the video with the taste test. This is amazing. I love it. So we're gonna pick things up tomorrow. And um, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. See you in the morning. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. We are at our remote office. Um, yes, normally it is cubicle life at our main office, but I was given a reprieve and said I could work from the remote office. Yay for that. Makes things so much easier. So here we are. We're working. We're going to get our day going. Um, later on, I'll check in with coffee and meals and all that fun stuff, but it's like a quarter to six, maybe. Yeah. About a quarter to six and we're here getting it done, you guys. So, see you a, a little bit later. Alrighty, we are back from our little remote office. Like I said, thank goodness I was given a reprieve and I was able to go there. Um, so I've already had my coffee because I've been working, of course. So here's the first meal. It's my bagel and I have some egg whites with the bagel. That's the first meal and I'll check in a little bit later. Okay guys, I am back to show you my next meal. And here it is, my veggie mix with the chicken. Well, this is the chicken breast I cut up. So I'm gonna eat this and um, I'll get back with you a little bit later. All right, we're here for final meal. And I guess it's just one of those things, you know me, I become a creature of habit. So I'm just gonna opt for some yogurt and the reason it looks like this, I explained it um, in my previous videos, but I added a little bit of um, sugar-free um, jello to it. And I, when I say a little, very little, and stir it around, it gives such a good flavor. And I'm loving this with the black cherry. So, yep, final meal. And um, this week was really good. I had some busy days. We stayed on track. We got our movement in. We got our water in. So, yay. I'm going to get the video up for you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys more than you could ever know. And um, I will say I'll be back over the weekend, but how things have been going with me, I've been doing, you know, some cooking and then adding into the Monday's vlog. So we'll see what happens. But bye for now, and I'll see you guys later. Mwah!